Hello, I'm Anthony Santa of Sociability Online Marketing Strategies. Today we're at City Hall here in Victoria, BC. And we're going to be talking to Mayor Dean Fortin about how he uses social media with his role as mayor. So, Dean, um, what inspired you to uh, start using social media as mayor? I think about three years ago, it's interesting, uh, this, this election is going to be interesting just to see what role social media plays. Three years ago, 2008, a lot of people said, no, you need a website. I think they said that to all politicians. They said, okay, no idea what to use it or what to do it or how many people actually. And now it's just standard fare. Right. Um, for social media, it was a case of getting on there. It was a way to connect at more of a personal level with uh, citizens, I think, uh, with people. Um, and I found, I mean, there's lots of stuff you discover. People like to be involved. Um, people like to know what their mayor's doing. Uh, you know, and, and so I would post, like, here's what my day is going to happen, right? Uh, and people go, that's pretty cool. You know, it sort of starts at 7, and you're meeting with the chamber, and then you're meeting with the labor council, and then you're meeting with homeless, and then you're meeting with, you know, the emperor and emperor in Japan. And, and people are kind of like, cool, right? Um, then the next discovery that happened was, is that if you post a question, uh, so you might say, hi, we're thinking of banning or getting or doing organics collection at the curb. Uh, garbage, what do you think? And they say, what do you think? Good or bad? Um, and you get like 35 answers. People like said, chat room opens up on your, your Facebook, right? Because you get this great discussion. You get to hear what individuals are thinking and how they think about things. Um, and you also get to know what's important. Because sometimes you'll post something with a question. Um, and nobody talks about it. So it's like, okay, that's not interesting to people. You can sort of measure what happens. Uh, I remember I was sitting also um, kicking around the ideas, I think it was August, I had the border going on, probably on vacation on the beach. I said, what do you think of a regional levy for, housing, for homelessness, right? And it just went viral. It was just like, and within the next four days, there was like TV interviews and radio and, and hundreds of people involved in it and it was really just amusing. So it has a way of communicating what you think is important and interesting enough on the pickup it lets you know what other people think are important. So that's sure. kind of interesting to have that interface, the, that dialogue. It's an advantage. Maybe the way to put it is this. Um, it gives it a chance for people to know who you are, what you're thinking, and um, what your issue policies, all those sort of issues uh, sort of are. Uh, it's an advantage if they like that. <laughs> if they don't like what you're saying, it's a disadvantage because, but it's a chance ultimately, I think the advantage is for the electorate uh, to say, okay, who is this guy? Is he someone I can support? And I think that's good value all the time. So can you talk a little bit about how you manage your duties as, uh, as mayor? Um, when you find time to, to tweet or to do your Facebook, um, how does it work for you uh, with, uh, with both duties, being the important online and being the important in person? Yeah. Do you have some help doing that? You know, the truth, no. Um, and, and I guess that's part of the whole social media. And I do know that some politicians do. Um, my joke would be because they probably need help. <laughs> uh, for me, um, what I like about social media is it is about me. You know, I actually had somebody ask me that yesterday. Is that really you on your Facebook? Is it really you? I was like, yeah, it's really me. Um, and, and that ultimately goes back to this is the Facebook, this is social media, this emphasizes the social part of it. Um, this is who I am. So I'm only the really, I'm the only guy who can really do that. Right. Um, and the chance is to show a little bit more who you are. And, and, and hopefully we don't get the backfires. You gotta be careful, you know, like, don't, as I say, don't try to be too funny on there because uh, sometimes it doesn't translate well. You know, they don't smile when you say that to them. Um, you know, how you get that happy face icon on there so people know you're joking versus Right, because uh, uh, that is my danger. So I like, I like to be funny, uh, or try to be funny. How do people decide whether you're funny or not? Um, they'll let you know pretty quick. They'll let you know pretty quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's interesting, you know. Like Facebook, you can post maybe once, uh, once a day. Um, Twitter, different type of marketing. You want to try and do like three or four or five posts. To keep things up and active. The largest challenge is the most interesting stuff. You can't tell people about. It's like, oh God, that was interesting. I can't believe I heard that. You know, like the, you know, this happened what in Belize, or this happened, you know, what with this provincial minister? And you go, oh. Uh, so you have to wait for the book.
I mean, what was your motivation to proclaim uh, June 30th, 2010, uh, Social Media Day? Uh, you, you'd done that uh, even before uh, a few major urban cities across North America did, even before New York did. You one up them. What, what, uh, what was the inspiration behind that? Victoria is a wired in town. Um, it's funny, I mean, we have this larger, I think, and really historic perception of, you know, uh, newlyweds and the early dads. Um, we are a cool, happening, hip kind of town. The high tech is our number one uh, industry, bigger than tourism, bigger than, than universities, bigger than shipbuilding, all those things are really quite big here. Uh, high tech is that. And so it was part of saying, um, hello world, Victoria's hip, happening, this is what we do here, right? Uh, we're wired in. So Dean, you've had uh, a business career uh, prior to being mayor, and uh, now that you're mayor, you're actually online. And now you're doing all kinds of things with social media to promote what you're doing online. Do you have any sort of comment or advice for Victoria business owners about how social media may affect their business? I think, absolutely, I think social media is key and, and obviously in those sort of uh, elements, especially the entertainment industry, uh, that's important for, for getting the message out. Um, but I think where social media can play a different role is, it is like movie theaters. You can advertise like crazy for the opening night. After the opening night, it's word of mouth. And, and whether people start going and whether it's a hit or not, right? I mean, and, and that's what happens. I think social media can play is the new way of, is the new word of mouth, right? Uh, that people can quickly go on and say, what are people saying about you or about your product or uh, in a personal way, in that personal connection, you know, it's your neighbor saying, and it might be kind of fun to go in there and say, well, look at all your friends, and if my friend Bob likes this place. Um, uh, it's the same conversation you have around coffee shops. Hey, I'm looking for a good mechanic, who you got? Um, if you can go onto social media, and people are basically saying, I like this guy, or I guess, you know, those are sort of things. So I think businesses should seriously understand what the role that social media can play. It really is a conversation uh, at a personal level, and people want that. Well, there we have it. I've just interviewed Dean Fortin, Mayor of Victoria, BC, talking to him today about how he uses social media with his role as mayor. And he's really a nice guy. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Dean. We gotta do this again sometime. Uh, Dean, can you do anything about this? You know, some days it feels like that's the only thing I can do something about. <laughs> Pardon me, wait a minute.